So, I mean, this is the scary duo up in the top side of the map. We've seen a lot of Quins get, you know, bitten in the butt. From what I can tell, it does look like Ruler is farming it out, as there's a big trade down on the bottom side. Yeah, Mystic actually taking a lot of damage as he steps past the minions. Uh, Ruler will have the sustained advantage, although there is a... Uh... Space Coco down here on the bottom side. It's life looking to get in position. There's the Flash Face Breaker as Mystic immediately cleanses it. The Ignite is down as now Ruler's chasing after Ben Fly in the meantime. Whoa. Has forced the Flash and Solo kills BDD <laughs> in the mid lane. What the hell is going on? Ooh. Spear is going to miss, but there's the Flash Pounce and Clit is going to immediately answer. We'll have a lot of control on the top side as Life is going to come in from the back. Get a double face break and Ruler gets delivered a kill. Life has the Haymaker, has now been very, very low. And uh, Ruler gets underneath the turret and uh, does force the Flash out of Ben. So expect for him to understand that Spirit certainly could be here. He has a ward. Oh no, what is. Rascal, don't do it! I caster cursed him! <laughs> it's a disaster. The Flash will probably need to come out here as he gets a bit of a snare. Great call the Meek! But the Flash forward and Rascal doesn't even bother. Knew that he was gonna die anyway, and Spirit picks up the kill. Honestly, I, I think he should have gone for a little bit of an early flash there, especially with teleport down. But here's a here's another look at the trade in the mid lane. You see BDD trying to stack up that passive fly. He flashes the ball, which is really what allows him to win that trade as Hex Flash is insane. As we see here, he's able to get over the wall. Really nice angle here. Total pressure down at the bottom side going the way of Genji. They've got the lane pushed perfectly for this kind of dive. And you see that ruler, he's, he doesn't step back. So actually- And he does have uh, the cleanse. So not gonna be stunned oh for too long as Mystic. Oh no, he's super dead. There's the Haymaker. And that is going to be the death of the Ash. This lane, it feels like Senna set is somehow a kill lane. Not bad at all. Midity is going to get bubbled here underneath the turret. Fly has himself a barrier. Might need to use it as the turret shot does come in and eats up that barrier that we were talking about. Great shockwave from BDD to deny the aggression, but still he had to use his cleanse. Oh no! Mm -hmm. uh, Fly may get flashed on as the Dawning Shadow comes out. Goodbye, Mr. Zoe. Why wow. Orianna is actually pretty decent into the Zoe as well, because the second she portal jumps forward, you just combo her in the face. Yeah, well, there's the Flash Show Stopper as uh, Kane is going to bounce on back with the Vault. Spirit flashing forward. Clit is here, but I don't know whether he's going to get in shield range, and I think life is just going to be taken down. There we go. Goomba stomped on the head. It's over a thousand for the side of Genji. Zero for Afrika. They have no control in any of these lanes as, oh, Rascal trying to beat. Yeah, went in a little bit too early, though, as he gets the Culver Meek, but unfortunately, Clid gets here a little bit too late. Tempered Fate will find Ruler as well, and oh no, he's in an alcove without a dream. As the Blast Cone comes forward, Life now trying to set it up. Ruler flashes out of the way. Dawning Shadow comes in, Mystic in so much trouble as now Ben trying to fight off Ruler. The arrow is going to miss. The auto should connect onto Mystic, but no, BDD cleans it up, and damn, Ruler's having a good day. Dun -dun, dun -dun. X Flash, Pounce, Ben gonna magically journey away, but Mystic not gonna, gonna be so lucky. Rascal picks up the kill, and that's special delivery from Gen G over to the Crocodile. They're trying to get him back into this game. He's fought somewhat as Mystic. Oh, oh. no, they're bullying him! <laughs> oh, goodness oh. me. All right, now Spirit's in trouble. Look at how much damage Ruler. This is the most damage I've seen out of a center ever. Dawning Shadow almost able to take down Spirit. For game number one, you can see that Gen G. Very active around the map, looking for picks. Yep, Spirit is about as dead as he can possibly be. He tries to ult himself out of the way, but I have a feeling they're gonna be able to catch up. The Flash forward, there's the Flash Face Breaker. As Showstopper comes through and Fly is picked off. He does go golden, Tempered Fate, he's gonna buy them some time. And Arrow's going to do the same, but there's the Shockwave. And that's gonna be the kill onto the Bard. Blast Cone gets Fly out of the way, and there's not gonna be the pick off onto Mystic this time. Spirit survives, but I don't know whether anybody else is going to be so lucky as Ruler got very... Oh. Dawning Shadow picks it up! He got very aggressive is what I was going to say, and he interrupted me by being even more aggressive. As Inner Turret is going to go down, and they might even be able to get this Siege on the Inhibitor Turret as well. Six. <laughs> He's doing zero! Yep, flies mega dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Let's see what he can he do. He's two levels ahead of Ruler. Because now he's going to find him. There's Blade of the Rune King. Arrow is going to connect, but he immediately cleanses it. And now Ben's in trouble. Had to flash to get out of the way of the Shockwave. As Pounce out from Clear to avoid Spirit Mystic is in trouble. Dawning Shadow comes down. You can't cleanse that damage. And the flash forward from BDD is going to say goodnight to the Ash. Rascal finds the back line as a flash is picked up by Fly very luckily. Of course, that was the one that Rascal just used to engage on them, so you can understand why it was there as Keen has to flash. But the snare does connect, and Ruler is looking to go one versus three. He's still very squishy, but he doesn't seem to know that or to care. <laughs> as Fly will be taken down. There's the auto. Can't avoid that one. As it looks like this will be the end of the game, Valdez. I don't know what Ben and Keen can do from the fountain. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have a 27-minute game. This seems to be the way it goes. <laughs> Uh, when Afrika plays oh the God. top four of the LCK, unfortunately for them. Yep, Afrika do struggle against the West, and it's not going to stop oh. here, but it was the bottom lane, man. Is that 0 8? I think Mystic was 0 8 0 <laughs> by the end of this one. Uh, Ruler just put him in the grave, and he was never able to get the out. The damage of is pretty nice <laughs> 20,000, yeah. 22,000 for the Senna. That we even saw in game number one. I actually quite like Afrika's composition here, Definitely but... Definitely one worth forgetting as Afrika... As BDD's coming in for a gank, Parallel Convergence is armed, and there's that flash head by Pole. Mystic gonna flash out of the way, but Parallel Convergence is right there, and first blood goes to BDD. That's Haymaker Flash out of Jelly. Is that gonna be enough to keep him alive is going to be the question as Ruler wants it. He's right underneath this turret, and BDD, I believe he'll die. Yeah, he will. Set's gonna grab that kill. But at least they managed to get one for Ruler. He just wanted to get back faster. Mm -hmm. You know, that stage of the game, level four, you're not too worried about it. It's Parallel Convergence once again here. Is Fly going to avoid the stun? Time Winder also not going to do too much as Dread. Look, he's booking it over onto the Echo right here. He does still have his Flash available and the rest of Gen G coming in. Cavalry has arrived as Jelly looks for the face breaker. Only finds life with it as that's a good pulverize and the head buff back. No time to make any hay whatsoever as BDD thinking about flashing and is eventually going to do it. Probably didn't need to, but he was aggressive and now he's going to be taken down, immediately punished as both of these four-legged creatures are cantering around this mid lane. But uh, in the end, it's going to be relatively even, I believe, Genji coming out a little bit on top. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be happy with that one. Just getting a couple of kills as we got a trade down here on the bottom side. Yeah, Mystic is going to throw oh. out the heal. Ruler has oh. already put his down, and the 1v1 <laughs> is going to elicit the crab raid. <laughs> Yep, Rascal looking for it as he gets out of the way of the Nards. It's going to be the Lilia not being so lucky as Ebung comes out, but it's going to take him to the grave. It's one for one in the end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Life's almost dead. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, as, okay, the Swell Seed is going to connect. Ulti comes down. And uh, Mystic, that is not the time for a rest, my friend. Zero, three, and one now. As BDD, he's found Dread in the jungle, but... Uh, yeah, probably doesn't want to fight the Steed at this point in time. It's a uh, sad time. Here we go again. Yeah, Flash Face Breaker comes in. Dread coming on down as well. That's a three-man pulverize, though, as Fate's Call has to come out, and life is oh, still God. here. The Onslaught of Shadows does absolutely nothing as Ruler will say goodbye to the horse, and now Mystic chasing after him. He's going for it once again. That's a good flash, and that time he will be able to take him down. But Rascal's here, and he tidies up with a quick slice. Clid's over here as well. He's going to swirl Seed the Renekton, and he's going to go to sleep. This is not the time for a nap, laddie. As Ruler comes on over, that's going to be another kill for the Ezreal. There's the Pulverize. Hop out from Keen. But they have to get away oh, no. from the objective now as Mystic is getting eaten by a Crocodile. Conqueror comes down, but is going to turn it and gets the slow. Some decent farm at the moment. Rascal does find the stun, oh, and oh my god, one versus two. Rascal's going to pick it up. There's the Cull the Meek. He's looking for another slice and or dice. But he'll I could yeah, imagine. when you spend 15... Yeah. Uh, 50% of it in the death chamber. You can imagine that it's hard to find creeps in there. As uh, Rascal gonna stun up Keen, looks for the double hop out, but the slice and the dice. Which and, means uh, T1 versus Afrika will be the match. Uh, as Keen looking for the 1v1 against Rascal. He's angry. definitely doing well right now, but still has Blade of the Ruin King. Rascal not even gonna use it. As uh, the horse comes down, gets a bit of a drive by there. That's going to be able to grab him. Oh, no. Cliff also doing one. Look at these four-legged creatures just bouncing around. Puts him to sleep. And that's... Uh, I don't want to watch it, guys. I, just, I really don't want to watch it. Yeah. 
thankfully you had your Ren guard to keep you uh, to keep you safe. Oh, Chang, he was super scared. <laughs> uh, he was real, real scared. As the showstopper is going to bring Rascal towards the back line, but now he's looking to try and get out of there. Flashes forward, looks for Mystic, but he misclicks onto Jelly. PDD dives in with the face dive. And uh, he's going to be able to get right back out again with the Chrono Break, and it is going to be an advantage for Gen G once again. That is one Fed Ezri. Fed's real. And now Dread might be giving him even more money oh. as there's the Heffa. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Horse. As Rule is not finished yet, Mystic. Not going to get hit by the True Shot Barrage. Jelly might not be so lucky now as he is going to possibly fall asleep. And uh, Will, and there's the Flash Forward. Q's going to pick that one up. As uh, Fly gets chunked for half of his health bar just after the W's proc. Um, oh. That's probably okay. not the champion that he wanted to see, but he's still going to go for it here as Mystic is going to find himself. But Ooh. oh no. This is not where you want to be, Keen. Very, very close to falling, but now he should be able to create the oh. distance. Oh, the Color Meek is going to pick that one up, and it's a one for one trade in the end. And meanwhile, Gen G are going to be picking up the Baron. Mercurial Scimitar is complete. Gets chunked a little bit there by the Command Dissonance. As Dread now trying to face off against the crocodile here towards the top side as the animal kingdom coming out here as Jelly's going to come in. Let's see what Rascal can do, but there's the showstopper to interrupt, interrupt the slice. And with four people, they should be able to take him down and they do. It's Mystic that actually collects the kill, who does have his two items now. Yeah, just casually it's doing the Drake. Uh, Mystic in trouble. Ruler, though, has to deal with Jelly first. Haymaker comes down. He tries to snipe with a Mystic shot, but it's the Alistair Ooh. that grabs that kill in the end. Jelly's going to be missed as Ruler. Very, very close to being able to pick up a whole bunch of kills, but couldn't quite get there. He falls to the horse. Meanwhile, the rest of Gen G are going to be able to get the work done, and Life's Alistair is Ooh. looking so damn good. Clit's going to be here as Dread's going to discover Bambi. And she's going to put him to sleep. E bang. And uh, <laughs> look, don't know whether Dread's going to burn to death there with the passive. As uh, yep, bowling ball not going to connect either. As Dread, if he runs real fast, he might be able to escape death, and he will. As you can see, what, yeah, what's, what is this? A running race? He's got to be careful though. It's a mountain rift. You might uh, you might get some splinters if you run really fast. Oh no. Oh, Ooh, okay. the smite he uses the smite, trying to turn this one around. There we go. Dread picks it up. Nice. Surprised that Genji are not being more aggressive. I guess they're waiting for BDD to join up. Rascal has TP, and they're probably looking to set up a very aggressive fight, but no flank wards here. Yep. In goes life. There's the flash headbutt pulverized. They're looking for fly as the phase dive does get BDD in there, and now he's looking to try and peel for the, ho for the cow. Because, you know, why not? Nobody else is really taking too much as Rascal, thinking about going over that wall, gets knocked back by the Drake. This should be Mountain Soul. Dread is still alive, but he's so far away. Another headbutt pulverized. Give this guy POG already, Valdez. Life is just having the game of his life. His, his life. I think he's face off against Dread here, but I don't know who's necessarily stronger. Three level advantage for the Echo right now as life's going to come in. And uh, he gets the mini stun with the headbutt. Still has pulverized, remember, as Vinity looking for Dread. The Ignite still ticking down, but Command Protect does come in. Fate's Call comes down as, unfortunately, not a lot of CC Whoa. available there as Jelly probably is going to be taken, but does go golden. Before that happens, you can see Rascal trying to get into the back line, and he should be able to get Fly. In the meantime, the front line is being eradicated. Goodbye, Mystic, and goodbye, Afrika Freaks. Not going to be staying in this series for much longer as the Nexus turret's now under fire in Gen G with a very dominant 2 0. Yep, going to be the quick win essentially here. 32 minutes down goes the Nexus. As our ruler once again going to top the damage. He's just been on form today. This has certainly been the day about.